Put your hands together for Mr. Paul Player. Thanks. Was feeling pretty good today. Went out and bought me these new clothes. Sales lady said that they were the top of the line. But I still don't think they're the best Goodwill had to offer. Been quite concerned lately about my hair loss. Was pointed out to me that Apollo hair treatment was the best. But I opted for the less expensive Uranus hair care. <laughs> hey, treatments work great. Can't say much for the top, but now I gotta shave my ass twice a week. A friggin' weed whacker. My hair on my head still looks like shit. You folks like impressions by applause? Yeah. I just do one impression, it's very basic, very simple. This is my impersonation of the next man who boxes, heavyweight champ Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm sure you folks realize by now, I am single. <laughs> and I have no friends. But my biggest problem lately has been my long-distance bill. It's been so expensive from all that phone sex. Any of you people out there actually try this phone sex? Oh, I get it. They set up all that shit just for me. Hey, I'm not complaining. I give good phone. Actually, I have my own 976 service. I like to call it dial-a-dork. <laughs> if you call me, I'll send you 295 for the first minute. <laughs> Since 1980, prophylactic usage has increased by the millions. I received my first chance to use one a couple of months ago. The woman I had encountered insists I wear one to keep her from becoming pregnant. Hey, you'll be happy to hear she didn't get pregnant, even though the condom was a few sizes too small. I saw her just a couple of weeks ago. She wasn't very nice. She said I would never have to worry again about making her pregnant. I said, that's just fine with me. I'll take the damn thing off now. The government says the high crime rate is due to the drug circulation into the country. I hate to differ with them. I think it's the kind of people doing drugs we have a problem with. When I was growing up, we had drugs. I experimented with smoking marijuana. I ate Valiums. I snorted cocaine. I dropped acid. I ate amphetamines, barbiturates, uppers, downers, quaaludes, and I dropped acid. I smoked hashish, opium, heroin, and I dropped acid. And the next day there were no psychological side effects. Just kept getting the urge to go to Goodwill and buy these nifty clothes. <laughs> I am known as a musical comedian, but right now I'm a little disgusted over this new Madonna song, Like a Prayer. It's a very successful song, but wasn't she the singer that five years ago was Like a Virgin? And now she's Like a Prayer? Boy, she's real creative with these new song titles. 
If this trend continues 20 years down the road, we'll see Madonna's big new hit, Like a Old Bitch. <laughs> I'm sure Pepsi's just thrilled over the success of Like a Prayer, saying they dumped their own video commercial two weeks after they shot it. I was one of the few people that sat through the premiere of that commercial, not because it was Madonna, but because Pepsi produced it. I was hoping they'd light her hair on fire like they did with Michael Jackson. <laughs> Only with Madonna, I guess it would have to be her armpit hair. <laughs> In order to maintain my status as a musical comedian, I'm going to go ahead and play one song for you. You folks look like a real rock and roll kind of crowd. <laughs> well, sir, you're just going to have to bear with me. This is a classical selection. <laughs> this is one of my favorite classics. I hope it's one of y'all's as well. This is an excerpt from Rossini's The William Tell Overture. getting ready for that one there. You folks have been a great audience. My name's Paul Player. Now back to your MC, Sean. Paul Player. Player, I like him so much, I just wanted to hug him.